This legal situation in Romania regarding Luana, Georgiana, Tristan, and Andrew Tate is really one of these consistently befuddling things that has just permeated my thought process throughout a multitude of things, okay? I continue to come back to this story and try to suss out why exactly the Romanian police are continuing to do this. All of the guys and the girls should be out by now. They were scheduled to be out in the 27th. They should be just having this massive party, this massive getting the hell out of Romania party on Friday. But they're still in jail because they've been held for another 30 days. It's like, okay, cool. You guys had 30 days. You seized $4 million in property. What did you find? Nothing. Okay, so what do you think? You're going to need another 30 days in order to come back with more nothing and another extension request? Because as we know right now, and just to clarify it for everybody, okay, the initial hold was for 30 days. But at the judge's discretion and the prosecution's leisure, they can ask for another 150 days. So theoretically, they could keep them there for another four months for n no good reason. And uh, I don't know these guys personally. I've watched a bunch of their content and it's like outside of agreeing with nearly everything that they say, I don't know them from a hole in the wall. But I can see injustice when it's being perpetrated. And more or less, regardless of the source, like last week, okay, talking about that um, Rick and Morty co-creator, don't watch your show or anything like that. I just see some bad stuff happening to people. And if you don't speak up about it now, tomorrow it might not be you, but given enough time, given enough leeway, that shit's knocking at your door too sweet. So here's going to be your definitive update until there's new information that drops on this one, okay? So... Judge describes particular dangerousness of Andrew Tate. Okay, what, what did he find out there? And his brother. Oh, okay. And their use of violence to exercise permanent psychological control over victims. Oh, so he's brainwashing victims. Interesting. Interesting. Both of the brothers. But the girls? No. So, what? They're just being kept in kept in captivity for sake of completion? Like, what, what are we doing here? Okay. As he justifies keeping them behind bars for another 30 days in this ever-evolving case of nothing because they need to continue to evolve it because they don't have any fucking evidence. Okay. We're going to hear from the lawyers. We're going to hear from the Tates themselves. And we're going to hear from a bunch of other people involved in this case. Some of the victims that are in there have been out there saying, yeah, um, we know about your investigation. It's just, there's faults in it. Okay. But apparently this judge has the inside track on it where well, you'd hope somebody does because the prosecution hasn't been able to come up with anything, but this judge, man, he is a definite. Okay. He's also doubling as Romania's top psychologist. And he knows everything that there is to know when it comes to brainwashing. Allegedly Romanian judge has pointed to the particular dangerousness of Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan in their capacity to target and exploit women to justify extending their detention amid rape and human trafficking investigations. I also heard that, and again, I just I think the specter of this kind of looms over it more so than any official charges or any or other investigations. Like some other people are now talking again because this started all the way at the beginning when they were snatched up at the end of December. Oh, there's going to be money laundering charges. And it's like I'm seeing those claims once again, but... Nothing's really manifest so far because we can't even get a fucking straight word out of the prosecution, let alone if they're expanding the investigation any further outside of the confines of these specific crimes, okay? But who knows? Maybe that's their ace up the sleeve in order to keep them in shackles for another month. This is... I... It's... I don't know, disheartening to see this level of corruption play out because if you guys had anything tangible... I'd be able to dig into it and I'd be able to tell you what the fuck it is. I'm obviously biased, like I've said multiple times over. I've listened to this stuff. I've listened to the long-form content. Fuck, even earlier today in preparation of doing this video, because I knew that there was going to be some substantial updates, but I didn't realize that there would be quite a drop here today. But anyways, okay, just seeing what the other side, What what is the other side's perception of Tate? There is this girl. Okay, and nothing against her or anything like that. She just looks like, you know, your regular NPC that's walking around out there. Okay, she has 8.4 million, 8.4 million subs on YouTube. And she has a bunch of different Andrew Tate videos that are on there. I, I forget her name. All I know is that she has 8.4 million 
million subscribers. And they're like, holy fuck, there's got to be some substance to this content. But no, it's just your typical feminist talking points. And another video, because I just, it's like, okay, I seen a guy in that, uh, well, it's something that could pass as a guy show up in another video that was recommended before that. I don't even know, man. I think I was just scrolling the homepage on YouTube and then that one ended up popping up. And it's like, oh, there's your boyfriend. Okay, so you've got this platform. Okay, there was some obvious male, dem er, male denigrating comedy at the beginning of the video because it kind of looked like it was a couple's channel or something like that. But no, 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 long story short, that cuck lives in her parents' basement, in a basement suite, and she was telling him who he is, and he was just sitting there nodding and agreeing. Those are the type of people, those are the type of people that are out you out there telling you that Andrew Tate is this terrible person. He's a misogynist. And going back to that 8.4 million, I, I legitimately don't know. I know her name starts with a K. Outside of that, you can probably find it or something like that. I don't know how many, you know, substandard setups or 8.4 million, 8.43, 8.45 million followers. Okay. Who just run through TikToks and it's like, he's a misogynist. He's bad. Oh, what's that? Male body count and female body count. Totally different. Oh my God. This guy's evil. And I totally, I think she made some sort of a call for violence. I can't entirely be sure something like that. All it was is just like, oh, I wouldn't take any of his shit. You know, just some same old fucking boilerplate stuff. And then remember to like, comment, subscribe after my 15 minute long video. Fucking yeah. Yuck. But outside of the Daily Mail, nobody's reporting on this shit, okay? Like, Andrew Tate was the most Googled man on Earth in 2022 for a substantial period of time. And nobody's questioning the fact that it's really light on evidence. Nobody's talking about this. It's fucking weird at the exact same time. Okay, you have the Tate situation in Romania. You have Eliza Blue running shop on Twitter. And nobody's covering either story it's so fucking weird to see right now and that's why maybe i've just been so fucked up by these two congruent or yeah two congruent stories and then you add on the steven crowder daily wire shit where you see a bunch of simps out there for you know the establishment and it's like am i taking crazy pills because some people some small-brained individuals some fucking you know middle of the bell curved idiots okay 100 iq pundits that are out there okay the big brains the self-professed big brains that are out there saying that all their shades of gray on all sides it's like every single one of these situations i see is black and white okay either you're wrong or you're right because you can just go ahead look through all of the evidence all of the receipts that are available and you can come to a reasonable conclusion who's right who's wrong and in the eliza blue situation that's probably the most cut and dry one okay like there's a couple of simps out there okay elon being the biggest one and then cassandra yogurt mouth fucking fairbanks or whatever her fucking last name is at this point in time not popping out any kids are you after that marriage good for you you old fucking empty egg carton but no that's the same dumb bitch if you guys have been watching for a long time okay i was criticizing her back in the cut mostly because i think that she has dog shit takes when it comes to politics but she was respected by some of the mega crowd that was out there the same mega crowd that decided to turn on steven crowder very interesting but old yeah old slimy mouth was talking about mike pence and oh how is this so good to be in like he's like the trump agenda but without all the profanity i like him better oh it's not about anything substantive that mike pence says it's how he says it that makes it more palatable it's this bitch thinking that just permeates all of society and it makes me fucking sick once you figure it out once you see it you can't turn that shit off everything that you see in society is served up on a feminist platter exclusively for women at the detriment of men unfucking believable but now that i've set the scene okay let's get back to the tate stuff a romanian judge has pointed the particular dangerousness of course a written statement from a bucharest court highlighted the tate brothers capacity and effort to exercise permanent psychological control over the victims who is qualifying this shit? okay including by resorting to constant acts of violence interesting very fucking interesting okay if you have evidence of constant acts of violence why do you need to continue the investigation why did you need the additional 30 days why are you using this for justification for the additional 30 day extension if you already have the violence down pat there you go lay the charges but no 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 you're just gonna keep them or keep them 
under lock and key to send a message or to get closer to your election date because they want this prosecutor to be head up of DICOT. There's some sort of conspiracy that's out there regarding that, but okay, we'll continue. Uh, the pair are now being held behind bars for an extra 30 days until February 27th following the judge's ruling, which would manage tensions uh, around the case and safeguard the investigation. The, t the statement says, manage tension because a psychological expert says that brainwashing and co uh, via constant acts of violence are a reason that they need to continue this invest what the fuck is going on british american former kickboxer tate 36 andrew is uh, his brother tristan 34 have maintained their innocence since they were arrested uh yes with the allegations yes of rape from that miami thought who actually for everybody's clarification's sake let's see if i can get that because like i said we got a lot of fucking videos and we don't actually need any sound on this one yeah i got everything muted okay but we've seen this before when we were going through i believe it's the blonde i think it's the blonde or no no the one with the tattoos so the one in the front okay that's the one from miami she's the one with the big art um epar allegation big rape ag accusation okay and there there they are at the tate's place doing a whole bunch of tiktoks very interesting these are the victims okay this is one of the six two of the six i think the uh, moldovan there is oh i think that's the redhead in the back i don't know who the blonde is maybe she's going to be in one of the other videos that we're seeing out there but there you go there are a couple of the alleged accusers in the situation they were trafficked in order to have a better background for TikTok and Instagram, like you're going to have to fill me in on this one. But obviously, obviously the judge knows better. The brothers are being held alongside Luana uh, Radu, 32. Uh, that would be, yeah, we got pictures of this stuff. Uh, Luana's not in that picture. Uh, Georgiana is the thin brunette. We'll see both of them. I got, like I said, there's a whole bunch of fucking videos we're going to be looking at here in a second. A model believed to have been dating Tate for almost a year. Oh, damn him, you know, dating a model. Terrible, terrible individual. Both women are facing human trafficking charges and are accused of being Tate's closest lieutenants. Oh, making it sound really official. I guess that's trying to set up the whole organized crime empire so you could slap everybody with a RICO. Therefore, not entirely sure if there's RICO charges in Romania, but uh, by the doctrine of extrapolation, charge the rest of them, charge all three of them. Or the additional three with an, uh, a rape and human trafficking because they set up an organized crime unit. Just don't know how you do that with four people. But yeah, no, they've, they've clearly got it at the top. Okay, Tate Brothers at the top and then the two girls under them. Okay, it sounds like every Saturday night. What are we talking about here? Both women are facing human trafficking charges and accuse the Tates of being closest lieutenants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helping to coerce and control at least six women. Six women! Two of which we previously seen before in the TikToks. And then if you went and took a look at the previous video, which I'll link in one of the goofy ass fucking eye cards above, or if you're on Rumble, you know, just scroll back in the feed. The last one that was, you know, the big, you know, nearly hour long top G video, which for fuck's sakes, this one's probably going to be there as well. But hey man, this stuff deserves extrapolation because, well, nobody else is fucking doing it. But yes, at least six women, at least six women. So now you can't even be specific when it comes to accusers, but six of them, right? Uh, to create social media porn content under house arrest. Sure thing, okay? Sure fucking thing, but there you go. Close-ups on all of them. Yeah, there you have, uh, that would be... I think that's Luana, and then there's Georgiana right there. Yeah, and there's Georgiana again, okay, yeah. Arresting them for hooking up with dates and nines. Like, oh my god, you're terrible people. Tate yesterday claimed a woman accusing him of rape followed him to Romania and made up the allegation when he refused to buy her sister a 200 million euro or a 200,000. Sorry, let's not let's not be imprecise with our verbiage in this one, right? Okay, a 200,000 euro house. Huh, imagine that. It almost sounds like blackmail. Hey, you go ahead. You, you need to buy my sister a house. Otherwise, I'm going to put a false charge on your name. And then he's like, no. And then she filed the fake claim, but has yet to produce any evidence. And they continued to go fishing. Uh, die caught, this is. Interesting. He also told judges in Bucharest that it's time for the circus to end. As he argued that the prosecutors had only considered small snippets of information relevant to the case. He said the rape allegation against him lacked concrete evidence. Yes, uh, at uh, the Court of Appeal in the Romanian capital earlier this month. Yes, 
that one that um, Vice so eloquently broke down in their documentary, which I still haven't watched the full uh, video documentary, mostly because I, I like the different monitors that I view videos on and I don't want to break any of them. The one that I'm pointing at right now, quite costly. As for the tablet, it, it's old. I could probably throw that, but my phone is the only one that I have. So we'll just, we'll hold off on that one. Okay. Especially it'll be funny after these boys end up getting released at the end of the day to go back and mock and laugh at that failing fucking fun company that is Vice. I didn't want to say fun. I wanted to change around a couple of letters. You can figure it out. And I think you guys are smart out there. Uh, his brother Tristan, meanwhile, was seen yesterday protesting his innocence to a journalist outside the uh, Directorate of, oh, of Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism, DICOT. That's the organization we're talking about, in case you forgot. In Romania, where they are being moved for questioning. Yeah, they keep on going back and forth, and I got the videos of the last time that they've been out, but it's been a few days at this point in time, okay? They're every once in a while, I don't have any specific tweets from Tristan or Andrew's, you know, Twitter accounts, the only places where they're on right now, well, they're on. Somebody's obviously running them as well. There's been some illusions that at any point in time, either brother have been held in solitary confinement, which is cruel and unusual punishment. Don't know necessarily what the statutes in Romania are, but uh, the most recent tweet I've seen from Andrew was basically uh, Romania. It's not from Andrew, obviously, but it, on his account, on his account, that Romania has become a communist country and, and just outlining everything else. This will be the last time they're ever in Romania, and I totally don't fucking blame them. But anyways, earlier this month, the Bucharest Court of Appeals heard Andrew Tate's defense against allegations that he raped a woman, saying with him in, or staying with him in Eastern European country between November 21st and April 2022. How does that happen? Like, just make that make sense, okay? Uh, just use some deductive reasoning for a moment, okay? He was keeping her there for five months, six months, okay, where she was freely moving about posting social media content had her boyfriend you know just see one of her instagram stories call over and then kick all of this stuff off or off sorry what a total fucking simp romanian news outlet gandul reported that the woman asked to move to romania with him and filed a rape allegation nearly six months later when he refused to give her money to buy a house and become a tiktok star huh imagine that well with robotic moves like this I don't know why. I don't know why uh, they couldn't persuade Andrew to you know, finance their fucking lifestyle. The woman reportedly had a drug addiction and when they met at a strip club she worked at in London. Hmm. Tate said he allowed the woman to move to Romania with him on her own. So it's like, yeah, you can come over, get clean, and then we'll see what we can do from there. Or you can work for one of the multiple businesses that I own and you can purchase your own home. How about that? Due to her drug problem, the woman was told to stay with Tate's assistant and alleged girlfriend, Nagel, uh, who's also arrested as part of the investigation. Oh, is that Georgiana's last name? Okay. The police claim Nagel, a ex-police worker. Oh, okay. No, sorry. That would be uh, Luana. Uh, oh. No, I was right the first time. <laughs> Why should I doubt myself? Anyways, acted as the brother's lieutenant, helping to keep six women like prisoners and forcing them to make online porn videos. They deny the allegations. And yeah, like I said, we, we had this interesting video drop here earlier today from Tom Kahn. Okay, somebody who's known the Tate brothers for a very long time. And you know how I said at the beginning, okay, the judge was using his justification to keep the Tates act or keep the Tates restrained for an additional 30 days. Oh, they're using sophisticated brainwashing techniques. Well, this video, just before recording, ended up dropping like 20 minutes before I even, you know, pulled the trigger and did all the research on this video. It's like very interesting, okay? Because that, that article has been up for a few days and I've been waiting and uh, just been furious. Tried to do some counter research. It's like, okay, maybe I got this blind spot. And it's like, okay, I've got such bias in favor of the Tates and I'm missing something. And then, I don't know, maybe as Allah willed it, okay, this interview drops today and it involves Jasmine. Now, we talked about Jasmine before in the previous video. She is one of the two women who have gone on Romanian TV multiple times, has made multiple videos. We've seen a couple of her plays on whatever social media platform that is out there. It's like, listen, please remove 
remove me as a victim, remove me and my friend as victims in this case. We are not victims, okay? And then the other two women, okay, the one from Moldova and the one from uh, Miami, yeah, those two as well, we already know their story. So the only ones that are left are two unknown women at all whatsoever. We don't know them. Maybe they have all the goods on all this stuff. But as for the people that worked directly with them, Jasmine included in this one, and she's going to elaborate on something as to why she's not allowed to have her name removed from this investigation. See if you can hear some consistent logic from the all too corrupt Romanian police here for a second. So I'll let, uh, I'll let the boys go. I think I have this all queued up correctly. And if not, we'll just run it back. Very high quality video. It was right there on the front of Rumble. And shout out to Rumble for doing some excellent fucking work here. Like, I've got nothing but respect for this platform. As opposed to YouTube, well, I can suck a dick. Clarify what you're saying is you could give live evidence, but what they're trying to do is discredit that evidence by saying that they've brainwashed you. Yeah. But did they give you any explanations as to why? No, they gave me an explanation uh, that uh, this is the procedure. This is why we have to do this. But they haven't, they, they haven't given me an explanation about why they are not approving my statements and uh, why am I am being ignored, why I'm stated as a victim. I, I've got no, I tried to talk to them a lot of times, but no one is listening to me. You may Imagine that. Imagine that. The entire video is about 14 minutes long. Obviously, everything that we're going to be seeing here is going to be linked in the description. But no, no, no. The police know better. Hey, listen, you've been brainwashed. It's like, no, I, I've, I've known the Tates for a long time and we work together and I'm allowed to go, come and go. It's like, please, and everything's... F no, you're clearly brainwashed and we need to keep you on this case because we don't have anything and any of the evidence that you provide on your side... It isn't going to be heard at all. This is um, ridiculous. And like I said, man, um, the hits don't stop coming. Because we got one of the other girls. Okay, I think, I'm pretty sure this is the other girl that's down there. Or at least this is going to give some, it's going to bolster the character of at least Tristan in this situation. Okay, this one is from freetopg.com, which is about the most agreeable or domain name I have seen in a long time. But... Here's a little bit more context. So I'm a Ukrainian refugee as Leiden. Refugee. It was Tristan who helped not only me, also my mom and my grandma. On the border of Ukraine, he gave a lot of warm clothes, coats for children, boots, food, everything. Andrew and Tristan, they helped financially a lot. And now you say that they are human traffickers. Yeah. So yeah, he puts up a Ukrainian refugee. Her mom, her aunt, and a couple of other people as well. Trafficked trafficked uh, definitely according to eliza blue and definitely according to the romanian authorities those are the quality of victims that the romanian government is telling the tates that they're facing those those are the victims those are the fucking victims like this makes me furious there's nothing i can do from canada outside of just disseminating information so that's what your boy's gonna do in this one okay so we've got some other people chiming in on this situation okay you got norica nikolai uh Nico yes nikolai it's romanian names so i'm not gonna be able to pronounce all of them correctly so just fuck off a former prosecutor and member of the european parliament believes that someone has given an order to make the tate brothers disappear okay so she was asked uh, again on a romanian talk show make sure that i got the volume turned up on this one and uh i'll just go ahead and uh i don't know uh, actually i'll just read the closed captions as we continue to go actually no i think there is a reading on this one so and if not well we'll just run it back but listen closely to this one okay so i gave you her credentials she was a representative of romania to the european parliament so here's her thoughts on this and what is your opinion on it after what you have heard here i have not only watched the unfolding of this case on your tv broadcast but follow this case closely as it made its debut at the end of the year during the holidays mm -hmm. initially i thought it's a cover-up for something but from what I can see, from a criminal point of view, everything looks like an improvisation, even the judge has excluded the rape accusation, as what the prosecution had on file wasn't sufficient evidence to convince anyone it was rape, so the judge asked for more evidence. And regarding the human trafficking accusation, obviously a very sensitive topic for USA, who is monitoring human trafficking, it is quite improvised. Rigged. My opinion is that the authorities in Bucharest simply executed an order. 
I think it's an operation. More important is to find out what was actually the main activity conducted by the Tate brothers in Romania. Because in no case the 100 million dollars, others say it could be more personal wealth, cannot come from video chat. Exactly. Of course, See, that totally right. makes so much fucking sense right there. Okay, I just want to run that back because I know I talked over that. Okay. Like, that is absolutely ridiculous to think that, oh, they made all of their money pimping women as a bunch of tradcon fucking parrots will just continue to run back over and over again. Oh, they're living an immoral life running a bunch of webcam girls. It's like, that's how they made their first million dollars way back in the cut. They had 75 women at one point in time working for them. Now, a handful, maybe, that's what you guys are alleging in some form or fashion. And that's where they're accruing all their wealth. Like, just legitimately, use your fucking noggins in some form or fashion, but... No, 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 don't, don't worry about it at all. Adina is perfectly right. I haven't seen any people being deprived of liberty, being coerced to participate in such activities. Mm, Rather, yeah. they are some figures who have a certain influence, especially in the United States and Great Britain, yeah. who are against neo-Marxist formulas. They have all kinds of radical ideas. Sure, we can agree with them or not, but it seems that someone has given an order to make the Tate brothers disappear from their capacity to influence the public, yeah. especially Andrew, because he's the most vocal and has a certain influence on a significant number of the public. Tristan is calmer, so I'd rather think it's a workplace feud, a matter that doesn't belong to us, but to others, but it was executed in Bucharest. Yeah, because Bucharest has quite a problem when it comes to corruption. There were a couple of anti-fraud investigators, get this one, that ended up getting bought off. You legitimately cannot make this shit up. Let's see if I still got that one just available. Yeah, actually I do. Okay, we'll just go ahead and fuck it. We'll do a live, kids. Just hurry up and... Yeah, here you go, translate. Okay, it's like, okay. Yeah, so two anti-fraud. This is from Grandul. It's funny. It's funny. I didn't um, Daily Mail reference Grandul to begin with, but I didn't want to reference this article that's out there. Okay, uh, two anti-fraud investigators are accused of bribery. What decisions did the judges in Bucharest court take? Very interesting. Okay, so you had two anti-fraud investigators accused of bribery seems kind of contrary to what they would be performing inside the confines of their uh, of their profession okay what did they end up getting 30 day home arrest 30 day home arrest right off rip no jail time served at all whatsoever but the but the tape brothers no evidence paper thin accusations they get held for at least 60 days at least 60 days that's what we're dealing with out here kids now we'll hear what evidence the defense is trying to introduce and this one i am gonna have to read along with because it's just a lot of noise in the background so we'll just turn that off okay so i'll just uh, for those of you who aren't watching and are instead listening just for your sake and because i was better than just dead fucking air and going uh -huh, yeah no i agree with that so uh care of the censored man or censored men, sorry, who's doing a lot of good fucking work out here collecting all of these videos. A statement from the Tate Brothers lawyer after Dicot session of the 25th of January. Okay, translated English. We are convinced there is evidence in favor of our clients. And yeah, some other evidence that could theoretically be allowed, not being allowed, which is um, kind of... Kind of not good, not good for anybody. So all the existing data on the respective media were uh, downloaded... All right. So, without performing an interpretation of the respective data involve, yeah, okay, the printing of the images on their phone listing. Phone listing. Absolutely, Absolutely nothing, nothing. I don't need, sorry for that. And it's like whenever you play a Twitter video and it just immediately wants to play the sound, it's like, fuck it, I just turned it off for a good reason. But no, this is about all of the electronic equipment that was snatched up during the initial raid where he's seen, oh my God, he's got swords and he has this one table that has a gun inside of it with some ammo that is also inside the glass it's like you couldn't even use that firearm if you wanted to but it looked scary right let's take a picture of that but no 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 from anything that could have a copy they took a copy of it and looking over the evidence because the defense is at least getting some information they're like there's nothing here bro i don't know what you're talking about 
Uh, all the respective disks, uh, the detailing of the data extracted from their respective devices is to be carried out in the next period. So this next 30 days. Also, Andrew Tate has made, we say, a convincing and complete statements in the allegations in the case. And we believe that through these statements, uh, things have been greatly simplified. All right. In regards to the development of the prosecution, hopefully there is some unintelligible. Great. This is kind of like this case in general. So uh, we are convinced that there is evidence in favor of our clients. We're probably asking for additional evidence. What do you guys have in this one? Okay. Uh, he has footage from the indoor surveillance cameras. Indoor. Okay. And added to the case file or have been added to the case file. No. Not allowed. We specified the fact that those are surveillance cameras, okay, have been in police custody for more than nine months and the respective images have not been submitted for the case. So during the time in question, although they could have built a very good element in outlining the defense because it could have easily been observed that at no time any of the persons in question prevented from leaving you know, the respective house, okay. It's, uh, or compelled to do anything against their will. Yeah, their internal, quite, or their internal video cameras. So that would have shown everything. And if they were being held under house arrest, they would be on camera at all times. But I don't think it's all that convenient. So it's not going to be allowed so far. Uh, but it appears that the editing, or better said, the attachment okay what are we getting to here of the respected images in the case file was not desired yeah it ran contrary to what the prosecution was on about so we're just gonna go ahead and gloss over that right so yeah now we got the brothers we got the brothers with their final their court appearance okay when they were allegedly making these statements in front of the court we have the last time that I've seen them leave captivity and um, looking good, I guess, in some form or fashion. Okay, Tristan gets marched out first and foremost. Doesn't have much to say, really, but no, I can turn on the voice. Fuckers. No evidence again. Ask the police what evidence they have against you. Yep. Here comes Andrew. Yeah, the matrix is trying to frame me, but God knows the truth. There's no evidence in my file because I've done nothing wrong. Everybody knows I'm innocent. It's okay. Everyone knows I'm innocent. Um, you know what's very funny? It's not so much funny as it is kind of horrifying, okay? If that guy wasn't, you know, a good upstanding individual and his uh, bald-headed compatriot as well. The fact that the police have the highest profile individual in custody right now in maybe the world? Okay, I don't know if I'm overblowing that. And if not, at least... Top 10, top 10 couple of people right there in custody. How little of a fuck they give about their safety out in public, just on the street, just allowing a couple of guys to walk up. And thank God they were like, just stay strong. He's like, yeah, I know. Thanks. Okay. And it's like, yo man, Romania. I just not demoralizing to see this. It's just, I don't, I don't know, man. It's, um, the lack of evidence is really what gets me. Boxing your go into the vehicle and then end up yeah, piecing out from there you don't really need to see any more of that but then yeah when they end up returning or going out another time okay so you have tristan end up saying okay you're getting closer to the truth uh andrew's holding a quran at the same time okay well Hopefully, man, because the truth is, these are good people being railroaded, man. Like, I don't know what the fuck else to say. It's, again, man, if there was any evidence, we could comb through it. All that we have is just a bunch of people opining on the subject. People who are attached to this case saying, I I'm not a victim, man. Um, I, I support the Tates. I'm with the Tates. Um, take me off this case. But no, 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 this is looking even more and more like a political hit job as the days go on. And the fact that there's days that have to go on, yo, man, I, it's, it's so fucked. Okay, so here's here's the last video that I have and the way that we're going to end up wrapping up here. So here's a charity that the Tate brothers support. Okay, they share their thoughts on the brothers, if they're bad people or anything like that, if they're taking dirty money, chances are, well spoiler they're just you know good fucking people I out there man Leah around a year and a half ago via instagram she contacted me about a project she was running 
now. I yeah, think and there you have Georgiana and Luana in the background right there. Okay. Handing out, handing out Christmas they gifts and they made it to young, young to kids in Romania. Other Romanian orphans, and I think it's a very beautiful. These mission. are the type of people. want to lend us a hand and have always been with us in all the projects we have been running. The Tate brothers not only helped us financially, but also their social media community was very helpful. No, and when we need bigots, something, right? they post on social media, and so they and our community in Romania come in our aid, and together we can reach as many beneficiaries as possible that need our help. We have a lot of projects that we are running now, and if people want information, can go to our page Alator de Tine, or to my Instagram page Lea Rusu, and there they can see our activity. Those who need help can write on the Alator de Tine Facebook page or to Rusulia Instagram page, and those who want to help the association by donating can do so by donating the, to the accounts displayed on the screen. Thank you, Tate Brothers. We thank the communities that are close to us and have taken from their time to be... Yeah, no, those are the guys. Those are the guys that are helping the people in need in their own country. Legitimately enriching the lives of the people closest to them. Look at all the detractors that are out there. L3, L3, Lasan Abi, every other fucking dork that wants to criticize them, okay? Stupid cuckstony that's out there, okay? All saying that, no, 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 they're just human traffickers, they're bad people. What does their resume look like when it comes to doing charity work? Okay, the Tate brothers, they aren't out there, you know, proselytizing any of this stuff. These are the people that they help coming out in support of them. If there was anything to happen to any of those guys, would there be any people that would come out and say that, boy, you know what? You really helped me. Okay, in the case of Destiny, okay, you know what? Hey, man, I was totally, you know what, fine in my relationship. And then I started listening to Destiny. And, and then I thought, hey, you know what? I could send my bitch out on the stroll because she is just as empowered if she she's out there fucking everybody else is if she's just monogamous to me boy we're just so happy in our new open relationship or listening to h3 h3 boy i was really thinking that my physique was looking awfully good but then i looked over at your triple chin ass and i thought boy i could really let myself go and make a multi-million dollar empire don't know how i'd do that probably have a lot of backs to stab or be like hassan abi boy you're so articulate i just really think that a high-powered brain damage accident could really help me with my public speaking abilities and thank you for really inspiring me you will never hear any inspirational tales you will never see any of the good that any of those fucks do out there in the world no 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 because they're just there to keep the status quo tate both of them tate brothers okay georgiana and luana okay helping them do their thing accomplish what they're trying to do out there making their millions making the world a better place waking people up to all this fucking nonsense that's out there those are the guys those are the guys that end up getting snatched up on these fucking trumped up charges yep you see it happen with trump all the time fuck you're even seeing it happen with yay even though he's getting a little fucking spastic when it comes to a couple of things whenever you push against the grain that's when they come the hardest for you and if you're a man of substance if you're a man of worth and you do nothing to help people that have helped you even if you don't know them in their time of need you're just as complicit as all of the rest of those assholes so choose your side at the end of the day because i know i've chosen mine so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been down consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone